Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. All right, my friends, it is Friday, but I am just picking up the camera and it is 12 o'clock. It is lunchtime. I've had one cup of coffee today. I've been on one conference, two conference calls. I've literally been working all morning since about 8 a.m. Um, so I'm just stepping away right now to like decompress a little bit because I've literally been non-stop going. Um, but it was a really productive morning. I'm feeling a lot better. I went to bed at 7.30 last night, slept till about two, woke up, and then fell back to sleep around four and then slept until about 7.30. Um, I think my body just really needed the rest. Um, it's been a really low key start of the day. Steven is working, I am working, and Bubba's is, well, Bubba's is, I don't know exactly what he's done. He's overseeing us currently. He barking at the mailman. He, yeah. Also, let us introduce you to our new HR executive. So Bubba's is currently our HR executive, our office manager, our secretary, our boss, what other, janitor, what other janitor roles? Janitor, mixed messes. I, I, I would say probably everything but, but the janitor. He's the shift supervisor. He's, he's doing, IT. he's IT, he's IT. He's doing everything. Yesterday I filed a complaint with HR on Steven for harassment. Bubba's oversaw it, he mediated it, and we're in a better place now. All right, you two, get back to work. Lunch is over. It actually hasn't even started, it's not even noon. Oh, I thought it was noon. No, oh, it's 11.56. I just said it was noon. I no, thought it was 12 We're taking a quick trip to the post office to drop some mail off and then we'll be right back. Well, tell them what you're dropping off. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. They saw it in yesterday's vlog. You don't have... I'm gonna have to tell the post office guy, Glenn, that it was this way, so... I mean, we actually taped the box. I still can't believe that box came untaped. That's not a good sign. That, that is a shattered five wick diptyque candle in there that we are sending back to Nordstrom's. And then last night we reordered one off the diptyque website. So I have a different one coming. The Fragrance 34 is out, so I got the Fig one, which will be perfect for spring. Bubba's, are you gonna go to the post office? Let's go. Are you gonna go with Daddy? I don't even know where he is. Um, oh, there you are. Um, and I have just been in here working away. Um, this has really become like my work workspace, and I ordered a bunch of things for this area to make it more um, of like a work environment and like just a better setup. So as soon as all that gets to delivered, we are going to show you how to set up a little home office um, right here in your house because so many of us are stuck in that situation. You could tell just by my demeanor and energy today that I feel a lot different. Um, really do. Also my day started off with interacting with friends and colleagues and I just think like that's another huge part of it. I thrive on interactions with people and I have really tight friendships within work um, so it's just vital for me to do really good work that I have strong um, connections and I just think I've been missing out on that a little bit. Um, today we're getting really heavy winds which <laughs> are so convenient in times like these. So luckily all of our power lines are buried, so our power really never goes out. Um, that's one thing about this community that we're really happy they chose to do is bury all the lines because I think our power has gone out once in five years. Um, but that's what's going on. I'm listening to the new Kelsey Bellerina, Bellerino. Um, album that released today because I just need some new music playing through the house. Steven's gonna go. I'm gonna get something to eat because I've only had coffee today and then we will catch up. And in this nonstick pan, I just have um, one can of chickpeas. I added some onion powder. Uh, let's add some garlic powder. I'm just gonna stir those. What I'm going to make today is I'm going to make some barbecue chickpea tacos. So onion powder, a little bit of avocado oil. I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper because the barbecue sauce that I'm going to add will have some. So I'm gonna let those start to cook a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce and just let them simmer and soften and cook the whole way through. So I've added barbecue sauce. I have it on very low heat. And I'm just going to let this go for five to 10 minutes. I'm 
and just cook down, thicken up, soften the chickpeas and heat the whole way through. I'm going to toast three tortillas. I'm having three just because I've eaten nothing today and it's noon. And then I'm going to add some spinach, some cheddar cheese on top of those. Um, and that's going to be my lunch today. It's simple, it's delicious. Since Steven and I've been um, social distancing, I've been cooking a lot with chickpeas. What's great with them is you can really do anything with them. You don't have beef, which I know meat is really hard to find. Add taco seasoning to chickpeas, cook them the same way, and use them as your taco filler. I do so much with them. Um, I love them. It's one of my favorite, favorite go-tos when I'm looking for like high protein, high fiber. Also, can I just tell you, do not, do, do not just heat up your tortillas in the microwave. That's so lame. You get so much better flavor. I'm gonna just turn, nope, that's not the one I want. Also, don't mind my stovetop. I know it's really messy right now. I'm gonna turn this on low. I'm actually just going to lay the tortilla, let it bubble up. You get such a better flavor if you heat the tortillas up over an open flame. So I'm gonna heat the tortillas up and then we're gonna fill them and I'm gonna eat lunch. Look how delicious those look. I'm so excited for lunch. All right, I'm gonna eat some lunch and just chill out for a second. The tacos were so good, they hit the spot, but I have to show you guys, look at this band that came today from Amazon. I disinfected it, of course, um, but uh, I'm gonna leave it linked down below. I really like it. It's one solid piece of elastic, and I just think it's super cool. Um, Steven is now home. He is eating lunch as well, and it's still super, super windy outside. All right, friends, I am making the easiest chocolate cake right now. Um, I'm gonna leave the recipe linked down below. It is one that my mom used to make for us for every single birthday cake. It is the easiest recipe. In my bowl so far, I have three cups of flour, two third cups of cocoa, two cups of sugar, a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add a quick teaspoon of baking soda. I'm at two third cups of oil. I'm gonna leave this recipe all linked down below as well. All right, I'm gonna also add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm adding two cups of water to this. And now I'm just going to whisk this all together. It's really that simple. And what's great is so many of you probably have a lot of these ingredients already. I think that's one reason why my mom always went with this recipe. Okay, and I'm just gonna dump this all in. And this goes in a preheated 350 oven for about 50 minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this whole recipe a link down below for you. It's just the perfect cake recipe with limited ingredients. So enjoy it. And it's also a little taste of my childhood because this was the birthday cake I had every single year. I'm gonna clean this mess up, do a little bit more work, and then we'll catch also, up. Also, I thought I'd show you where I had the recipe at. So this is probably one of my most cherished gifts. I use it all the time. My mom and grandmother, before my grandmother passed, actually put this cookbook together for me. And it's all my childhood recipes. And you'll see they're in my mom's handwriting. And then let me find you. My grandmother had the most beautiful handwriting ever. And they wrote little stories about some of them. It's truly one of the best gifts I've ever received. And it's just so nice to like look back and see my grandmother's handwriting or um, a story connected to a recipe. If you're able to do this for your children, please do because it's super special to them. Will you be able to set up the printer for my work computer too? Yes, I think so. Okay. I can get this one connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm just checking in on you two. Are you both working? I mean, it's now three o'clock. We've worked all day. Yes, I know. With one step at the post office to dump that broken candle off. We have honestly worked all day long today. It feels good to work though. It makes it feel slightly normal mm -hmm. when it's so not normal. Hey, are you done filing my HR complaint? He's resolved it already. I didn't get any follow up. You didn't close the loop with me. Um... Bubby, you didn't close the loop with me. He's gonna close the loop when you give him a cookie. Uh, that he'll find for you are. Hi. He'll find that your complaint was meritorious. And then you'll get a bonus. From who? Me. 
which comes out of your checkbook. Working so much has been really helpful today. I feel like it just brought like so much normalcy to my day, like really brought normalcy, um, which is incredibly helpful. Um, yeah, it just felt, I feel better today. It's weird because like in some aspects of the world, things feel so normal and then other things feel so surreal. Um, it's like a really interesting balance we all find ourselves in between things going on like usual and things being completely disrupted. So um, it's just gonna take a learning curve of us figuring out how to navigate all of this, but I have no doubt that we will. But today felt good and super productive. Cake is in the oven, it's going. I am gonna chill out for just a second. And then Bubby is um, chilling in the office with Steven while he works. So my chocolate cake is done. Look how perfect it is. It turned out so perfect. I'm just letting it cool and then we'll ice it. Tonight I'm keeping dinner super simple. We are having a frozen pizza, some wine, and then we have a cake. Um, and we're going to have like a little movie night here at home. Um, Universal Studios has released movies to rent early. The price is high, it's like $20, but that's what you pay to go to the theater. You'd actually pay way more than that. So tonight I believe we're gonna watch Emma because I'm dying to watch it. You guys also know that I'm a Jane Austen fan and Emma is one of my favorite Jane Austen books. So we're gonna watch that tonight and we're gonna keep it low key. I'm going to sign off now, my friends. Um, and just know that I am thinking about you all. I hope you take a little bit of fun recipe and tips and tricks from this vlog today and take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye.